Mr. Speaker, sitting on the government's books at the Inner Revenue is 1.2 billion as standing taxes and interest and penalty charges. Interest and penalty charges amount to 780 million. Given the difficult economic environment, my government has decided to encourage the payment of outstanding taxes. For income tax years up to 2020, corporate income tax, personal income tax, and property tax, if paid by May the 1st, 2023, will be exempted from all related interest and penalty charges. Income tax liabilities, all income tax liabilities, and related interest and penalty charges due before the income tax year 2000 will be written off. This disputes relating to tax liabilities, which have delayed the payment of taxes will be subject to review by a dedicated committee to speed up the process of settlement so that taxes can be paid earlier than later. For the purpose of clarity, the waiver of penalties and interest will not apply to the following taxes. Value added tax, withholding tax, hotel occupancy tax, and PAYE taxes deducted from employees by employers. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, taxes collected by companies and individuals on behalf of the government of St. Lucia must be handed over in full and paid on time. It is for this reason that no concession was made so as not to risk compromising the need for taxes collect on, collected on behalf of the government of St. Lucia to be paid in full and on time. However, taxpayers are encouraged to contact the Inner Revenue to agree on workable arrangements to settle outstanding VAT liability.